aging tips. This is about standing up for yourself. And I can remember when I was on the soap opera where I was for 35 years, um, I <laughs> was sitting in the makeup chair one day and the makeup artist said, well, the producer and everyone decided it's time for you to have a facelift. I got out of the chair and I said, mm-mm, mm-mm, I'm leaving right now. And he said, Tina, Tina, don't be ridiculous. We'll, we'll discuss this. And I said, no, we're not going to discuss it. I'm not going to do it. So that's just the bottom line. And nobody ever said anything to me again. And sometimes I do wonder, maybe I should have, but I didn't. Um, and I, I do remember I had a friend who was a plastic surgeon, a good friend. And I said to him, now, tell me, Cheryl, when um, I need to have one, if it really, really is bad. And one day he came up to me and said, I think it's time. And I said, no, I'm not going to do it. But another time that I walked out was I'd had done all the things for a colonoscopy. And that's something we all have to do is take those awful colonoscopies. Um, and I'd done all the prep work where you drank all the stuff and I came in in the morning and I had before I said I was going to do it the only thing I said was I can't put that band around my arm I don't know what it's made of but something it, it's made me pass out many times and doctors somehow can come and do it other ways but this doctor said don't be ridiculous we're going to do it this way and I'm going to put the band around your arm I said no you're not and he said yes I am I got off the table walked out after all that prep but I was proud of myself